Today we're going to look at the Kerno Beta 2100 UKCB radio. And again, this is a PR97, PR2794, we'll get it right, radio. I'm going to try and do all the Kerno radios because we hadn't covered any of them until we did the Beta 1100 the other day. Um, what have we got on this? High low mic gain, PA, a 4 bar fairy light green display, channel 9 switch, volume quotient RF gain. Now we bought this on eBay a couple of years ago for this demonstration. I can't say I've ever seen one and it comes with the factory original mic which is uh, an up down mic. So I'm going to open the radio up and see whether it's the same as the Beta 100 or whether it's totally different. And when we open it up, we're greeted with a set which is virtually identical to the Kerno Beta 1100. But because this has a meter, I notice we've gained a preset just here. I notice that's a crystal filter. I can't remember whether there was a crystal filter on the Beta 1100. Or not. I just thought whether it was a ceramic one. I'll just have a look back at the circuit notes. Uh, it looks like it was. Right, we'll power it up and we'll see whether it works or not. Switching to the other camera, we'll first of all see whether the radio is transmitting and whether it's off frequency. So, looking at the test set, we should have 27 decimal 79125. It's 79130, which in actual fact is, of course, near enough. Um, it's slightly high, and that's ideal because crystals drop with age. Now, switching back to the other camera, if we needed to adjust that, it's the red trimmer right next to the synthesizer chip. Which we'll just zoom in to for you. is that red trimmer just there. So I'm not going to adjust it in this case. Next to the first coil we see there is going to be the VCO coil. We don't need to adjust it because this radio is in lock and uh, I haven't got instructions on uh, setting up the VCO but it's a matter of looking up the C5121 synthesizer chip and finding out which the lock detector pin is and monitoring that. So, with the transmission alignment is exactly the same as the Beta 1100, which we did the other day. And uh, let's see how many watts it's doing. So, with the test meter picture in picture, I'm going to transmit on the 30 watt range. In fact, we'll start off on the 3 watt range we've got full scale deflection so it's doing more than 3 watts so that's the 5 watt part of the meter so the 4 watt bit should be just there now on the 1100 we had no difficulty getting 4 watts out of it so let's see how this has come to me from eBay so going into transmit it's doing 3.5 watts now the camera you're seeing it is slightly to the right of the instrument. I'm looking at the instrument directly, so you may be reading it uh, with a, a parallel error. Uh, so I'm doing three and a half watts. It just needs to go up that little bit more onto the onto the four. So let's see whether we can peak this. So we'll start with coil eight. Coil nine. Coil 10, L5, and at the back there we've got, oh sorry that was L3 and L5 is at the back. Nope, that's it. it's already at peak so there was no adjustment 
uh, improvement there. So the next thing is to transmit RF power, which is VR5, which is the preset there. It just does over the 5 watts on this one, so we'll just uh, turn that down to the 4. And there we have transmit splendidly on. Just cancel that camera. Now on the transmit on the display here we've got four fairy lights. There's only one extra preset in this radio, which is uh, the Zycon uh, spot, and that is this one here. Now I don't know what's going to happen when I adjust that. Is it for receive? It looks like it's in the receive position. Try the other tool, it fits better. So it certainly doesn't make any difference on uh, on that and I've got a full set of, uh, of bar uh, graph lights. So we'll, we'll leave that for now and we'll explore that again when we go on to receive. It's quite possible that that's fixed and there isn't a preset. I haven't got a circuit for the set so I can't really say categorically. So what we'll now do is do the deviation, transmit deviation and the preset for that is VR4 at the back there. Can we just see that under the wiring just there? So we'll get the little oscillator out, which will hold up to the mic. And once again we'll switch to the other camera. What we're looking at, I'll just switch the oscillator on. So what we're looking for is between 2 and 2.5 deviation. And we've got exactly 2 showing, which is just there. So that doesn't sound like it wants adjusting, but we'll just give it the quick whistle test. <sighs> Wallop just needs to come up a fraction, so we'll go back to the oscillator and again we'll just give it a quick whistle test Wallow, and that's not exceeding 2.5, it's just over the 2 now this radio has also got mic gain, so we'll now set that to the least sensitive position. Wallow, <sighs> testing, wallow. And then back to the high sensitive selection. <sighs> wallow. So that's deviation. So it did need a slight adjustment, but to be quite honest with you, it was neither here nor there. So so far, so far the way this has arrived is working very well. And that is all I can talk to you about on the Kerno Beta 2100 on the transmit side. So I hope you'll join me on the receive side and we'll see how well the radio works. Thanks for watching.